Shut up, bup, bup. Coolio. Oh, Koopa, I'll take it. And also, I genuinely actually really like these characters. This Shy Guy guy. No! Man, oh, that sucks. I thought it was gonna be one soggy guy. Now he's just a generic enemy? You ruined it! You won't smear me. Because I can't. I can flee. Ah, I don't care. No, I'll save Koopa for a boss fight or something. Yeah. Are they weak? I have no idea. Here, have a weak hammer and a weak jump. Uh, they went in the other order, but that's cool. They're full on paint, so sure. Tell you what, I'm not bored. So this game's doing alright for however long we've been streaming. I did not pay attention. Oh well, who needs it? An hour and 25 minutes we've been streaming. Not bad, I'm not bored, so I appreciate it. Right. Look at that was one battle on four hammers, that's crazy. Okay. More soggy duck guys, that really ah. Okay, well I hope we see more variety in the soggy types. He's not got any oak clothes on. There's a toad in clinging to that tree. He yeah, has a toad who fell off the airship. He looks like he'd get blown away at any second. Let's go help him. Why is it so windy exactly? Is there a fan? Oh, it's a falling shy guy. Is he a new type? No, he's just a regular shy guy. Oh! What really bothers me about the battle system is that you can't even target specific en- You can't? Well then why- What? That's terrible! That suck. You're right though. I, I just- Yeah. Everything sucks. God damn it. Okay. I'm sure that is the inner cherry lake. I'll get to it one day. That's cool. I like the diagonalness of that. Visuals. Good. Scenic view. A mountain view so beautiful you'll want to cut it and keep it. That's a good hint, actually. I, I do not want to open the menu on the bottom screen, thank you very much. I do want to make it so no one else can see what's going on. All right, let's do this. There you are. Look, it's a mountain. Oh, gonna drop everything. Don't mind me. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Uh, there it is. Bring it down here, bring it down here, down here, and then that way, nope, down, there you are, like that, and then up like that, whoa, whoa, that's crazy, look at him go, and he did it, and there we go, nope, there's more, wow, wow, <laughs> I pressed the wrong button, I thought that was me doing it! I was doing so well! Why is there so many increments to this? Am I not hold- am I supposed to- Yeah, that was why. I wasn't holding it. That was surprisingly easy, never mind. You can definitely target. I remember targeting especially in boss battles and other multi-enemy battles. Oh. I apologize for believing people. I'll find out. I'll test it. We'll, we'll be a pioneer of what you can and can't do. Okay. Done with that business. I forgot to look up top screen again. Wow, I thought you or I was going to be. Weird. Not glad objects like this are cool things. Just like when, when I turn flat, these things can be wrung out. So go ahead and press A to give it a good squeeze. The blades inside rotate at high speeds to create a nice breeze. I'm glad we've got a description of a fan now. Interesting, Mario was running weirdly then for a minute. It looked like he was running like some kind of gangster with a plan. Um, maybe I was, just, I was probably just entirely imagining it, but oh well. Lovely. Reminds me of the Windows 10 packet I got. It literally opened up like that and I was like, this is cool. Nice design. Graphics. 
Sorry, I didn't hit this side of the block as well. Oh, great. A KO hammer. Oh, that's actually... Oh, it's new. I haven't seen it, so... That tells you how far into Stick Star I got, I guess. Is this me skipping ahead without the toad? Alright, I'll go get the toad. I gotta keep talking, man. I imagine this whole thing's copyrighted to hell, which makes me regret actually buying it slightly, because I genuinely could have turned this into a nice series, but if it's gonna be copyrighted to hell, to hell, I don't know what I can do. Jesus Christ, okay. Please put on some clothes, Toad. You're censoring the wrong side of you. There you go. Mario, thank you for the save. Too bad you couldn't save my dignity. You're the Toad who fell from the airship, right? I'm glad you're not hurt, but, uh, you seem more naked than your average Toad. My clothes fell off when I fell from the airship. I wanted to teach those paint-steaming villains a lesson, so I jumped on their ship. These are aggressive Toads in this game. That thing is faster than it looks. I was hanging on for dear life, and my grip finally gave out. But mark my words, I will deliver swift toad justice to those filthy pig pilferers. For I am the toad who cast light on the shadows of injustice. I am... Da da na na... Justice Toad! Justice Toad? Uh, is this guy for real? How did he say that with a straight face? I assure you there is no face straighter. I am the hero that prison mine means. Before, but, but before I can save the world, I need to comply with public indecent laws. <laughs> Do you think you can go find my clothes? Pretty please? Justice, Toda. Well, I guess we can't abandon you in your time of need. Besides, if you catch a cold, who's gonna save the world? We're on the case. Here's your toes. Not your toes, your shoes. I did not cut off your toes and give them back to you. Ah, my overdrive gravity boots. Using those, I can harness the power of gravity to stay on the ground. So, they're just normal shoes then? The guy's Captain Olimar. He knows how to over-describe things. Cool. I appreciate that. I can get behind Justice Toad. I like it. It'd be cool if he actually, you know, looked somewhat justice -y. Maybe if he had a, uh, a certain white and red suit of, of a spacely variety. And a, and a theme tune of a, of a red crestian variety. And he renamed his name to Drake. That'd be quite cool too. But, you know, I guess can't be choosers, I guess. Right. Hello, Koopa. How did I predict you were there? I must be a master at game design analysis. Um. Oh, hello, Shree. No, thank you. I do not need that question mark block. Nobody does. Oh, that's water. Cool. Okay. Please give us more justice and remove your brethren from this game. That would be quite justorious. Justorious? But yeah. Actually, I do not want to... Hold on. Uh, I just think the toads should wear something. Give me more... Wigs. Give me... Even if they're holding an item. Something that varies them a little bit. Other than a fold in paper. Give them a visual difference that plays to their character and not to their body. Don't, don't cast them all the same. No copies and pastes, please. Oh, it's like that one room in Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Wow. Also, there's a tiny town in the background. I appreciate that. Still nothing here? Still nothing there. Okay. This is death. This is all death. And that's because the background is a cuttable thing, yes. Is that what you're going to reveal to me? No. No, apparently not. That's very much a cuttable thing. No. Okay. Floating platforms. Hello. Did not even notice you the first time. Maybe I'm not as genius a level design thinker as I thought I was. Oh, wow. Who needs it? You are totally a thing, right? Not an actual thing, but... No. Yeah, there doesn't seem much incentive to use your paint to sort out the coins. Oh, I never thought we'd find a blue mini paint star in a place like this. It's too far away to reach. Hmm. I mean, I could just chuck you, Huey. That would kind of fix the problem a little bit. Is this the time? Nah. 
This is still not the time. Oh. I legitimately could jump. What? Okay. Oh, and that's a reflection. That's cool. Right, come on, you. Dive for me. No? Oh, wow. You actually only appear from the front side. That's cool. I was thinking thousand year door physics. Do excuse me. Right, I guess we'll go back to the water. Toad could be the new Barbie. Uh, did I jump into that conversation late? Um, was this normal? This might be normal levels. Yes, it was. Which means, uh oh, I'm officially st stuck. Maybe I missed his clothes somewhere. Or well, something else changed. Now that there's water. Let me have a look. Oh, <laughs> I did literally miss it. So, yeah, they gave Toad varied clothes and sold figurines. He could be the new Barbie. I'm not sure how many people would buy Toads, I'll be honest. But I might if, you know, they charged a tenth of the price of an amiibo. Wow, Cooper, you really have not got the best uh, perception on any vision, do you? Oh, well, right. Run through here. Am I... Uh, I'm clearly still looking for clothes. I feel like Justice Toad is the one that gets us through the last bit. Is it in the question mark block or something? Is that what the reveal is? Mm. Oh wait, I need to go back to get up to that bit, don't I? That's what I'm missing. That question mark block that I'm avoiding has ruined everything. But I can't even get up here. Do you, do you open a stairway? No, you don't. Have I, have I messed something up by avoiding that? I can't have done. Looks like there's something underneath here. Okay, there was an actual thing. I, I assumed it was something else. Never mind. Is that all he wears? That is all he wears, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. He's always worn a diaper pants thing. Cool! That didn't take me crazy long. Also, though, let me see myself on my own webcam. Thank you very much. I'll lie back for a moment. I should be talking, because goddammit, I forget music is copyrighted. Damn it. Sorry, I'm not allowed to relax in this game. Ah, yes, the legendary chest armor, the hyper fabulous jacket. Uh, that's a normal vest, man. Justice Toad is feeling slightly more confident in his appearance, but I'm still a teensy bit naked. Naked. What are you missing? What else do you wear? I guess your actual pants part. Okay. I shall look again. Um, I assume it's not in the last room then. I assume I might have legitimately just missed it. Because I've already been in the last room, so I'll look around here. For weird shaped little 2D things. Like, there's a big patch here missing, but I doubt it's relevant. But you never know. Nope, no, it wasn't. Okay. I'll look across bridges as well. No, what do you even say again? Ah, yes. You want to cut it out. Good hint. I do appreciate. There's things over there in the water. That's fish. Yes, it is. No, it's leaves. Excuse me. Oh, there it is. How did I miss that? I think I did avoid that whole path, didn't I? Yeah. That was right. I think I, think I jumped ahead or so I thought I jumped ahead or something. Okay, cool. Yeah, I knew you had a hole in your wheel. You always do for some reason. Everything's broken around here. And then there's your other door. Gotcha. Noted. Excuse me, I'll be with you soon. I see the hint you were dropping. I see your secret. Mhm. <laughs> this is quite cool level design, I must admit. I will appreciate it where I can. So you're gonna put pants over your pants? Interesting. But okay. Let's go. Uh, oh wow, glad the soggy guy didn't notice me. And I like how Mario's actually kind of like leaning forward and back a bit. He's kind of doing this as he runs. Cool. Anyway, 
Behold the mega splendivorous tights, crucial for protecting my heroic king quarters. Yeah, those are underwear. You're just wearing two pairs of underwear. Ah, I was correct. Just as Toad is fully clothed, uh, but I still feel like I'm missing something. Are you kidding me? Oh, Christ. What is there to miss? What other assets do you need? Sunglasses? I hope it's sunglasses. It's not sunglasses, is it? Ah, uh, I thought you were something on the fence. You were not. Well, at least we know the question mark blocks are not the answer. You'd buy toe figurines if they were voiced in the Mario Party 2 style? They were voiced in the map. Oh, right, okay, so if they actually had voice lines, maybe. Seems like a lot of effort. They don't do it for Amiibo. Imagine if they did, though. That'd be pretty cool. Ah, uh, voice lines get kind of old in toys. There's only ever, like, three at most. Maybe not. There's going to be one on the water wheel, isn't there? That's going to be the trick. All right, never mind. Maybe another water mill. These are still leaves. Oh. Oh, oh no. Okay. Jesus Christ, just as I was coming down again. Hello. Who is it this time? It's Broken Dylan. Hello, hello. Thank you for the host. Kind of scared me like crazy, but, you know. <laughs> Happens. Um... I was looking for a thing. I'm looking for tiny 2D, I don't know, sunglasses? I do not want the world map, thank you. Those are just blocks. I don't know where to go. Also, there was something I wanted to fix. I'm on editor on Streamlabs, and I wish to fix that. So let me bring this back. Uh, 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 uh. There we are. Cool. Holy. How you doing? How you doing, Dylan? Assuming you can hear me and aren't just hosting me and existing in another plane. I'm looking around as best I can. Like, maybe that was a thing, but probably not. I'm, I'm still actually expecting it to be on a watermill, so maybe I should look at the other watermills. It might be an idea. Because I know it's not on this one, because I already checked. Something just came out when I hit it. So what do I know? No, not anymore. Oh, does that actually delay it? Oh, so it does. Oh, it makes it faster. Okay. This looks like some sort of Wario moustache. Had to admit, because I saw it last time but didn't mention it. Oops. Right, what else is available stuff? Probably somewhere obvious that I just am not paying attention to. Is there any other paths I didn't go to? Maybe. Oh great, I just opened his eyesight even more. Still not on this water mill? No, no it is not. Maybe it is up top, and I didn't notice it before. But probably not. No, that looks pretty not up top to me. Hmm. Why is there so many assets? Hello. Ah, oh, goddammit. Cut out the cards in front of the windmill, Hal. The windmill with the door. Okay. Wait, cut out the cards? Don't oh, let me flee. Oh, I have to hold it. And it uses some paint. Okay. Right, great. Waste my paint, why don't you? Am I supposed to hold something? No. Okay, it is just kind of luck based. Right. Let me see that again. If I can even. No, it won't let me pause. Um, cut out the doors in front of the windmill with the door. Windmill with the door. I don't remember a windmill with a door, so I will. Oh, there's all the windmills have doors. Cut out the cards in front. Okay. 
There's no more windmills this way, so let me go back. Right, you are a windmill. With doors. I don't think that's quite right, but... I'll keep pressing this in places anyway. He means the warrior moustache. Haha! -ha. It is actually relevant. Everything I seem to notice is actually relevant, because actually it does look kind of out of place. What? But... I thought it was only things you could stand on. I can't stand on this. Can I? So any moustaches you see in the world? Oh, so is it, it was that just a a tip? Or does that actually come with something? Oh, okay. It was just a nice little secret. Okay. Well, oh, that's kind of cool. I appreciate the attention to detail you apparently have. The last one doesn't progress the story, just free cards. Those cutouts just give you cards though. Oh, okay. Oops. Uh, anything else? No? Okay. I shall continue on. Um, right. I'm still faintly looking. There's no benefit to crop it. Alright, well I guess I'm doing it anyway. I've got to wait for the scissors to follow up with it now. And I still couldn't see myself because there's another advert on this dumb app. Great. Off we go, jumping along. Wow, that's great. You still can't see anything. Am I not 100%ing the whole world's paint? It's not that hard? I am not, because I can't be bothered. I just want to get along with the game, just pass it, you know? It spends a lot, it's a lot of extra effort, and a lot of paint gets lost using it. Ah, uh, I can't be bothered to buy more paint. Or, you know, hit a tree to get more. I 100%ed I, I, I the first room, the prism, port prism place. It was very, very dull to do, so. Of course you turn around. Is it behind one of these bushes or something? No. Is there no way I can get up there? Oh, is that what the jumping bit is for here? But I already got rid of the block, so that's not an option, actually. Is it actually up right by the guy here? Can someone give me some help? I get stuck on these things a lot. You flip. Oh, they didn't have to do much. Arr. Nope, I'm lost. I'm a stuck. I can't find the obvious last piece of the toad. I don't even know what he's what he's missing. Is he missing a spot? If it is, then this is it. It better not be the case. No, it's a flower. Also, yeah, there's like way too much accuracy needed to colour everything. I don't have the time to be accurate. You're missing something, so it's not clothing. You're missing the opportunity to go. No. Well, you're missing some... Is that it? Wrong colour? <laughs> How about now? The colour of justice. No. 
I would like a hint if I can, yes. Because I don't know what he's missing. He's missing water. He's missing a, 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 a wand from some obscure spot. Backtrack for this bit. Okay. Um, maybe there's a secret path under here. There is! Well, it must give us something. I'm unable to even tell. Is there something here? Is that. What's that on the floor? <laughs> I'm hitting the ceiling. No? Okay. Like, am I being dumb or is the game being dumb? It's always hard to tell the difference. Something going on here. Hum de hum. This is the world map. We don't want that. Saw some shy guys here, we ran through it, defeated them. Came along the other side and we found some soggy guys. Well, we met a soggy guy. Did I already get the paint star from this level? I didn't. No? Am I supposed to have just jumped to it? Is that completely irrelevant from Justice Toad? I couldn't reach it. Is there a thing I'm supposed to chuck, throw, do? The fan? I mean, I do have the fan. What's my menu? Hold on. Maybe that's it. I'm supposed to be using the fan for something, aren't I? No, because I have no key items, apparently. Is it in cards? Oh, I can chuck stuff in the bin. That's cool. There we go. There's a fan there. Maybe I, I assumed it would be for a fight. But what do I know? There you go. Have some colour to you. Don't know why you decided to be yellow, but apparently you did. That was where the pants were, so we don't need to go there. What do I have for Justice Toad right now? I have shoes and a vest and his pants. I have all his clothes. There's two in this level. You sure? I might be way later, surely. Because all paths seem to go to that direction. Did I ever read this? I think I did, but I don't remember it anymore. Yeah, Inner Cherry Lake. Can I actually go there? I haven't been here. That was the issue. It looks like an, another map. That would take me like out of the world map. If it says Cherry Lake, I think that's another level somewhere or something. And it just looked like it didn't go anywhere. Oh, damn it, okay. Never mind. It was me partially being dumb and not recognizing the layout. We'll call out a tie on lack of intelligence, shall we? So then, this will be where it is. Wow, I discovered it. it. was a thing. Oh my god, there is a second one. What? There's a red one and a blue one. Oh. Right. Okay. Strange. Well, let me go get the toad thing, which presumably is still over here. You. More random bridge pieces. I cannot see. 
What am I looking at here? Nothing. Just a random blotch of colour? Okay, get out of my face then. Please. He does not need clothes, he's looking for an item. Probably a book. Yes, there it is. Journal of Justice. From the shadows of darkness, a hero rises and those who cannot protect themselves. This hero harnesses the power of justice to strike fear into the hearts of the wicked. Plus, he looks really, really cool. He never wants to be friends with him. This is diary? Yes, it is. The bad guys appear, he finds without fear. Oh. Can I flee? Probably can't flee this fight. Here comes the bad guy now. Let's see how you like this. Hardcore justice missile. I hope they... Jesus Christ. I hope they, uh... Can I flee? No, not an option. I hope I can, um... Pair them. I hope they pair. If they do, it's good writing. If they don't, it sucks. Am I low on health? No. Yep, yeah, they're already coloured. Let me play. I'm sorry, dude. Some enemies I don't want to fight, but okay. He's pride guy, is that what it said? No. Oh. I got the hero's journal. Woo! Also, yeah, I completely didn't connect that the, the star was blue, so it wasn't the correct one. So, is that a colorblind thing? Probably not. But okay, now we know. Ah, my hero journal! That's uh, just something I was doodling and don't worry about it! He looks like a normal toad, for the most part. Ta-da! Behold my super justice suit! Now! Hello! Thank you. Who are you? Uh, it's, uh... Lose. I'm lost. Oh, there it is. Mario Mario. Hello. 50 bits and I'll get to that in a moment. Mario Mario. Hey Daz, this is pretty much my first exposure to the inside of Color Splash. I've heard about it for so long but I've never gotten the game. Despite playing all the other Mario games. Or Paper Mario games. I want to know. Since you're... Since? Oh. You're playing the game. Do you need to use the gamepad touchscreen? I asked, since mine doesn't respond at all. Yes! The cutout sections, you can't just use your cursor, I don't think. I'll try it, but I don't think that's how it works. I think you have to use it, so you're kind of screwed. Also, Broken Dylan, thank you for donating five pounds. I'm, I don't think I've ever really seen a donation in a long time. I might be completely wrong on that, so thanks, dude. I'm gonna, I don't know what I can buy with five pounds. I... I've spent 260 quid to make everything turn on again. When I tried to redo a stream, my capture card just broke and did not want to make anything anymore. So I had to buy the Elgato, which is what I'm recording on now. That cost me 160 quid. Then I went to update it and it said, oh, you need Windows 10. So I was like, okay, I'll do some normal Windows updates to try and get the download free. And it, they said, oh yeah, you can do that. And I did. And it broke my recovery for the computer and the booting up just wouldn't happen. I could not turn on for a day and a half. I kept restarting my computer, trying safe mode, safe mode wouldn't open, the command menu, holding F8, holding escape, delete, F1, F5, all the different combinations, getting into my files through the like boot up, loading backwards menu, I know all my, like, not my specs, I know the speed my fan spins at now, I've learned everything else about the computer but I can't turn it on, so then I had to spend another £100 to get the Windows 10 installer from P Curry's PC World. Now it's plugged in, the well, computer finally turns on. It's quite fast actually, which is quite nice. I kept all my files by pure luck and I had to reinstall all of my different softwares, but now we're finally here with my Elgato installed, my steering maps of OBS, my microphone installed, and all the different drivers and extra side things to make it work. But yes, yeah, so I'm a little low on money, is basically what I'm trying to say. Not to say that you have to donate because of it, but I'm saying, spend a lot of money. So maybe the five pounds will go to restoring the 260 pound donation I had to make to make everything work again. It's good fun. But yes, fan speed is very important. Now I'm gonna turn on the lights. Excuse the gross oranginess, but I'd like to be able to see. Also, it'd be nice if my my, 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 my my phone doesn't do that. It's got a screen that, you know, might crack and explode. So not the best idea. Wow, <laughs> oh, look at that gross yellowy color that I always hate in videos and just general aesthetics. Oh well. While we're also here, I'm gonna quickly drink, pour out another quick drink. I always drink way too much during streams anyway, so if I only pour it when I want to drink, then it means that I'm drinking less. 
And it's Coke, so I shouldn't be drinking so much anyway. <sighs> anyway. Actually, the lighting doesn't look terrible. No, yeah, it kind of does. Oh, well. Okay. But yeah, that was a nice little tangent. Thank you very much, Mario Mario, for the bits that got me into that. And thank you, Broken Dylan, for the £5 donation. Right. Ta-da! I know this already. Stand back, citizen! Justice Toad, saviour of Prism Island, has returned to save evil or to crush evildoers! You're so smiley, though. Doesn't quite fit. This is getting embarrassing. Uh, Don't hesitate to light the justice signal if you're in need of help! Now it lies beyond the reach of the long arm of justice! But <laughs> You're a hoot! Though I guess we actually do need some help right now. There's a blue mini pain star nearby that we just can't reach. Got anything up your sleeve? What? Someone actually wants my help? <clears throat> I mean, sounds like a job for Justice Toe. Let's go. That's quite, quite, quite a deep voice he's got there. Got to commend him for that. Right, so I guess we're getting the blue one now. Maybe that was supposed to... The, the other one was the generic one. And I got like the special bonus one that took me half an hour. How long have we been streaming now? Two hours. So yeah, this is like a 45 minute endeavor, I think. Yeesh. Don't worry, I'll skip ahead on... No, I won't. Never mind. I can't skip ahead. I've already played the game. And the videos will be either full or episodic. I guess this is a long episode? I don't know how this works. You needed some help with this star, right? It only is a little far out. But don't worry, this star is no match for the power of justice! Um, right. Look, this whole superhero thing is cute and all, but... Stand back! Justice! I'm gonna need a drink after that. Okay, we don't have time for this. Later, Justice Boy. Well, I think I found my thumbnail. You see, this is exactly the kind of thing I need. He doesn't need to have a wig or sunglasses, but he's got a freaking key on his head. What? That was amazing. You moved the paint star. Wow, I actually did it. I mean, I wished really hard, but I didn't think I actually had superpowers. So, I already am a hero. Incredible. It seems you're also part unicorn, although your horn is kind of crooked. I really thought you were just a crazy person. Yeah, a crazy powerful person. Thanks for helping me discover my true form. I promise to use it to uphold justice throughout the land. Until then, I guess I'll just wait here until someone needs my help. Cool. I will take that quite nicely. I don't need the max po paints anymore, but I'll take the coins. There we are. Lovely. Caviar. I was going to say, could I even access that? Okay, I can. Great. And that's where Justice Toad is. I like it. Right, now I need to go back in to get the red one. Fun. Is it going to be the same mission again, like with the Shy Guys and everything? Oh, man. No, it's not. I've already read it a mini-star in this course. Once you've cleared a course, you can press blood, get whatever you want. Sweet. Thank you very much. Actual helpful tip. We're almost done with this soundtrack, I swear. About a dab. The Justice Toad dab? I did not see it. Also, yes, some of these are enemies are back. One of the Shy Guy stack is. That's my curious test. Right, let's fight. Lovely. I was hoping that's how that turned out. I, I didn't pay attention last time we fought a Koopa. You don't think you can get the second one yet? Oh. Really? But it's red. Well, if it doesn't take too long, I'm going to quickly check. Jesus. Criminy Christmas. Hello. Who was that one? Oh. So, Broken Dylan, you gave a gift sub to Lumineketu. I have no idea how to pronounce that. But then also... 
a gift sub to USB. Jesus. Brogan Dylan, what do you do for a living? Why are you so rich? But ah, uh, thanks, man. I will accept those gracefully, and hopefully they will too, if it's a gift sub. <laughs> Jesus, that's a... That's weird to see in my chat. I'm not used to these things. But thanks. Good lord. You know what? I will fight Shy Guy with Shy Guy. No, I won't. I want him as a partner later. But nah. Bit of a surprise. What was what was what was the cause there? Just felt like throwing it out there. Am I that good a content creator? I'm just playing through the game at the moment. I haven't even done all the crazy things I want to do and have planned out. Like legitimately, there's I've got some new plans I want to do for streams. Ugh! And I, uh, <laughs> this is the most boring basic one. I just wanted to start a series that I might or might not continue depending on the reception. And I, I mean, I guess I should play more of it considering I did spend 26 quid on this thing. So actually, yeah, this, this whole existence of this series cost me 286 quid. Is Paper Mario Color Splash worth 286 quid? <laughs> I think I already know the answer, but oh well. Also though, hello Pikmin Wonder Viva 56. Thank you for the two bits. No message needed, but I appreciate it. People who get these subs can extend them for $1 this month and Daz will get the full value. Oh, sweet. I see, I, I don't know all these things. I really need to look up a Twitch tutorial. There's a lot of things I don't know. And like the, the weird, sub, not subliminal, the weird mini things like how um, the bits, the physics of the bit jar way down there works. I didn't know. I didn't know that things had physics and weight. I just thought they sort of dangled around and did their own thing. But no, they're, they're relevant. And I, 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 you know. <laughs> but no, I need to, I need to work out how. Like, what's the difference between a sub and a gift sub? Other than, well, I imagine that one's quite self-explanatory. But just general. I don't know these little quirks and gimmicks, so uh, it's cool. Right. I apologise if I'm wasting time trying to get this red star, but we're going... Well, the red one is the first one, so I assume we should be able to get the red star. It looked like it was just a path maybe I had to cut out for. But I am a dumb amateur Paper Mario Color Splash player, so... Come on then, give us a fight. Thank you. Get out again. Speed up please, speed up please, speed up please. Oh my god, he hasn't noticed me. Wow, that's a miracle and a half. Okay, yeah, this is a cutout thing. You gotta wait for it to line up. I got this. I got this. Miraculously. No? You're kidding me. This is absolutely how this works. Am I supposed to be at a different angle? I guess I am. Please don't notice me. Ah. What kind of perception does that guy have? I guess it's because he was looking to the left. Okay, yeah, it's here that I do it. Look at me knowing how this works. Wow, you ready for this? Robo Boy, thank you for joining us. We are fellow Earthlings. Well, most people are. Ugh. Wow, isn't that crazy? Look at him go. And it goes over here. And it goes over, and it goes over here. Crazy. Look at this. Wow. It touches everything. Ah, I better move as well. And I also worked out how to do that properly, which is good. I appreciate that. Look at me, growing as a person. Nothing grows you like a person, like Paper Mario Color Splash. <laughs> oh, oops, I should have moved. Ah oh, well, who needs it? Who needs that last coin? You don't have to do it at work, but watch YouTube and Twitch so I learn things, but bit physics is not one of them though. Fair enough. Yeah, it's like, 
a sub is heavier than a bit. So if you have a bunch of bits in the thing and then a sub comes in, it goes... And that's why. Hello, hello. Mario, Mario with another 15 bits. From your first few hours playing this game, Dan, what's your first impression on the beginner level battles compared to those of other Paper Mario games? Are they longer, shorter, more fun, less fun, etc.? They are more... They are longer. They are more repetitive. They are less fun. There's no variety in what you do. You pick out the stickers, uh, but there's not a lot of opportunity. I mean, I guess even in like Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, you only could really jump and hammer. But at least with that, there was more motion to it, I guess? Well, only with the only with the hammer, and there's more jumping in this one. But I think the fact that there's so much jumping, like there's always five jumps with your cards, it makes it more boring. It's it's like a less is more because with two it's like oh yeah I got two, whereas with five it's like okay again and again and again, and it doesn't take five hits to kill an enemy, so it's just doing the motions. It just everything's elongated. You have to press the gamepad five times to choose a move. You have to pick what card it is. So, you, no, you don't. You have to slide a card up to the slot, press on like that one, hold it in if you want to paint it, maybe you don't, then you press done painting, then you slide it up. I think I've heard this a lot as a complaint in reviews. You have to do a lot of stuff. It's not as good, but it's not terrible. It's not stick a star, I guess. It's no experience. The only benefit is you get more paint, max paint, maybe, but uh, I don't know. Right, we're going to continue to the Crimson Tower, but while we're there, Gamer, hello. I am back. Thank you for the singular bit. And my uptime apparently is not going to function, but I can tell you myself. I am telling you that we have been streaming for 2 hours, 11 minutes, and about 10 seconds. It said 7 when I looked, but I kept rambling, so what do I know? Oh. Oh, no. There's multiple key toads! I really liked the idea that Justice Toad had a key for Ed, and he had, is the K, obviously. Oh, well, that would have been great. Just give him him the only key Toad. Well, I guess now there's going to be three superheroes, and they're going to be the, the Power Rangers together, but even still. God damn it. Mario and Luigi Paper Jam Bros was amazing? Fair enough. I heard all the other one. Well, I heard it was okay, which I guess means it's good, because it's Paper Mario. This game's jumps are great, every m card is a power bounce, yes, but it's too much. I don't want a power bounce every time, and especially not on a Goomba. You don't use power bounce on a Goomba, that's just bad game gig or game playing. Like, that's bad on the player, but that's bad on the game, because that's how it works. Um, Mario, I can smell a big load of paint beyond that gate. It smells like red paint, way stronger than the red mini paint stars that led us here. The red big paint stars must be in the Crimson Tower beyond this gate. Ah, yeah. Uh, uh, you're Mario! I came here from Port Prisma to- Wait, why did I come here again? Oh yeah, I came to see the bridge to the Crimson Tower. It's supposed to be a truly remarkable bridge. Any bridge about or what their soldiers studied it. But while I was trying to open this gate, some guy snuck up on me with a straw. But then you came along and saved me, so thanks to that. Wait, if you came on the way here for Port Prisma just to see a bridge, are you some sort of bridge builder or something? Good lord, hello. Whoa! I'm gonna turn down my volume for a moment. But Broken Dylan just gifted five five subs to the community. They've gifted a total of seven in the channel, apparently, or according to the chat. Good lord, Broken Dylan, thank you so much. That's crazy. So you you that's that's the gift to Robo Boy six 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 Pikmin Wonder Evil five six Almighty Joshua Quacky Roll and Sheba Sheba Loser. Is that six now? No, I can't count. Excuse me. Wow. I mean, that's the kind of interruption spamming I can get behind. That is really generous. Thanks, man. That's crazy. Have you even? You haven't even sent a, a, a chat in the in the chat, have you? I think yeah. Ah, where's my mouse? There's another one to Pikmin Master. They've gifted eight now. Holy moly, is right, Robo Boy. But hey, apparently with that, you know, with one extra dollar. You can, uh, resub? You can extend it? Yeah, so like you sub every month, I think is how it works. I think that's how it is. Oh, wait, I might have seen a... Oh, well. Yeah, sorry, scrolling the chat for a minute. But yeah, we're gonna have a lot of sounds for a minute. Oops, I can deal with that, it blocks out the copyrighted music. 
Is that all of them? Yes, it is. I had my 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 sound muted. Broker Dylan is the real MVP of the stream. Triple F for deserved respects. That's crazy, but yeah, look, look, oh, you're spreading the happiness, not just for me, but look, look at Bigman Master, so happy. My stuff, I, uh, good guy. Um, let's move on. No, let's, let's not, I'm happy to stay here, but whatever. You'd better believe it, I'm a bridge builder by trade, a real bridge repair guru. Port Prisma was attacked and the bridge in the Blue District was destroyed. It's kind of a problem. What? This is an emergency, I have to get back to Port Prisma. Just you wait, Bridge. I'll fix you up real nice, like. Okay. And, uh. I'll get back to these guys with the key. Or I won't. Mario, look at this gate. Is it just me, or do these kind of look like weird mushroom shaped keyholes? Maybe the gates will open if we find those three keys? Yeah, one day. That'll take a while. And I guess it's the end of the chapter. Uh. Yes. Now, also, there was something I wanted to do that I completely had forgotten to do because I was in a rush on my last stream, or my first stream. Uh, it was that Twitter thing. I've got down top, down the bottom of this stream, and will probably stick around for a long time, is ha the hashtag DazStreams. It's my way of connecting to people more on Twitter, um, just as like an extra social media thing, so that if you want to send me some weird gif or Pokemon thing or a highlight or a clip from Twitch and you want to send it to me and you know it's a thing to find me for that should be the hashtag to go to I was gonna have it open in case someone said anything but the chances of people actually sending something seems pretty low to me but I did want to have it open just to make sure that no no one said anything sent anything to me yet I don't expect you to but I did know that it was something I was supposed to have set up to make myself seem more professional as a as a streamer where did my oh it's over there what I'm trying to make there we go try to make my screen half sized that's all good now. There we are. Now I can see my stream again, the chat, and hashtag Dash Streams. If at any point you do want to send me something relevant, if you've created something based off of a stream, you just want to say you're there, anything related to any streams that I do, hashtag Dash Streams on Twitter, and I'll see it. Might even do like streams where I just scroll through Dash Streams when I'm actually popular and have a lot of things to scroll through. We'll see. But no, that was a that was just a thought. Also though. Hello, Pikmin, with uh, one bit equals one less day until Pikmin 4. <laughs> Do bits take make us time travel forwards in time? Okay. Well, there's always the chance of that Nintendo Direct on Thursday. Well, was on Thursday, but it's presumed to be next Thursday now. Is going to be um, Pikmin 4. It's possible. Unlikely, but possible. You found your you found my stream through the Bikmin stream announcement. All right, fair enough. I see now. I had to read that twice. Do excuse me. Yo, Mario. Here at Blue Bay Beach, we're getting. Hold on. No. I had a very horrible thought, and like legitimately bad thought. I just wanted to check, so I watched. It's going to be a horrible segue, so bear with me. Everything I say from this moment is a grain of salt. I watched the other day uh, Black Klansman at the cinema. Really good film. Really enjoyed it. Really fun and funky until a certain thing. Um, good stuff, but I was thinking Ku Klux Klan, like the style of it where it's um, Clue and Klux is both very like similar. It's both KLU. KLU? Sure, KLU. I was wondering if Blue Bay Beach was following the same format. It's not. But I was like, is that a weird, like, not a subtle, not obviously, not supposed to be a reference, but did the wording work like that? No. The answer to that is no. But anyway. Yeesh. Whatever. Here at Blue Bay Beach, we're getting ready for Ocean Fest. It's a big festival where we celebrate the ocean and get down with our bad selves. We're apparently 40. All us toads are totally pumped. Ocean Fest, the paint stars are missing and you're planning a beach party? But I guess toads will be toads. I miss the days when they used to dance around Prisma Fountain. If we ever want to see another toad cut body, we need to find those big paint stars. There should be a mini paint star somewhere on this beach. Let's take a look around. How do you know it's going to be here? You just assume it's going to be everywhere? Ah oh, well. Oh, it's a stack of toads. Wait, Pikmin 4, it's out? Gamer says a one bit? No. 
<laughs> unless you're saying all those bits have progressed us in time to Pikmin 4. There's an announcement for Nintendo Direct. It was gonna be yesterday. Yes, yesterday night. Didn't happen because of the earthquakes in Japan. So they're potentially delaying it for a week, as my guess. So it'll be on Thursday where we might hear about some new 3DS and Nintendo Switch titles, which means it could be Pikmin 4 was basically the point to that. Um, yes. And the ocean, yeah, nope. Let's hit it again. The Ocean Fest is square is up ahead, but they're still preparing. Why don't you explore around here first? Aw oh, man, but it's all enemies here. Right, turn around. Tu there you go. And around you. And of course you turn around at that moment. Toad, what do you have to say? Jesus, I'm going to turn that down. That's blaring my ears out. Oh my gosh, Broken Dylan. That's a lot of salt you chucked at me. 61 bits of salt. Why 61? <laughs> Why not like 50? Why did you got to round it? But hey. I appreciate that, that's 61 pence, and go towards my I went and spent too much money on streaming again funds. You're still really excited for that director? Me too! I like hearing about new titles, and I can make a video if there's one that really uh, interests me, do some speculation on it. We'll see. That Ocean Fest thing is gonna start soon, have fun conformists! <laughs> nice. Hello? Oh, it's... Oh, hi Mario, get a load of this super cool blue toad! He's gonna sail to the edge of the world in this tiny boat! I wonder what's at the edge of the world, like, is it pretty? Why, this isn't about finding a pretty place of being cool! I've been embarking on this long, foolish, potentially deadly journey in order to discover my destiny! But first, let's hear some bits. Broken Dylan! Jesus! What one's that? I have to go to, I have to, go to the, the Streamlabs bit to actually see how much you're sending with all that salt. It's another 34, 95 in total. Thank you very much, Broken Dylan. Why? You've said no other words, or I've been accidentally avoiding you and not listening to what you say. Excuse me if I have done that. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Sounds like a midnight crisis to me. Just buy a convertible and didn't work. Be done with it. The edge of this world is probably pretty far, so you might want to upgrade your ride anyway. Hey, who's your face? finally starting. Come on. Nice. About time. We're out of here. Have fun in your boat, loser. Ocean Fest! <laughs> I'm the Ocean Fest guy, just. Mm -hmm. I don't have time for your silly festivals. It's time to discover my destiny. You're right there, dude. I'm heading to the margin of the world to find my destiny. I hope we see him later, like in the credits or something. Or just in general part of the story here, which is most likely going to be the case. Right, Toad, you can dance merrily while all these Koopas try to kill me. Don't mind that. Aha, I knew it. That was quite an easy trick. Ah, shoot, I thought it was a... Never mind. Hello. You're right there, Toad. Ah, what is it? There's a rumor that some legendary ca pirate captain hid his treasure somewhere here. I've been looking around for a hidden switch or something, but I guess it's just a legend. I guess we have to come back to this. No, oh, there it is. <laughs> a replica. Just because, because, because I've already got one. Excuse me. Will it become a real fan if I get rid of the other one? I have no clue. Hello, Toad. Any more to say? I thought I had a wall or something slide open, but there's no time for distractions. I've got to find that treasure. <laughs> hey, Daz, did you see the name of that new upcoming Yoshi game was actually shown on the Nintendo website? I didn't know that's where it was from, but I did hear about it. Yoshi's... Uh, I mean, spoilers, by the way. Um... I don't know, hold your ears for 10 seconds if you don't care. Yoshi's Crafted World, or something like that. Boring name. Uh, I, don't, I don't... I mean, I guess the game kind of looks boring anyway. Uh, but, I mean, uh, great. Really highlights how little Nintendo's doing right now, because there's no direct information. Just because that's, that's the thing we got to talk about. Oh, well. Oh! 
Hey, you've broken Dylan, you got words this time. Now for a cannonball. Thank you for another 95 bits. I do appreciate what I want. And hey, you actually doubled over, so good job on that. Good lord, what am I supposed to do with all these bits? How's the cup doing? I can't even see it anymore. <laughs> Where to put it? There it is. Wow, it's actually almost full. And only from like three or four people. That's crazy. <laughs> Thank you. Again, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. I've been meaning to reshuffle a lot of my Patreon to be the best for you guys, so if you have any suggestions of what you'd like to see, do please let me know. As for now, thank you to the Shepherd246, Dylan Brill, Red5 Rainbow, Dazzle Kitty, and Melka Velasco for the support. We're only a small band of people now, but your support has helped so much, and if anyone else is willing to help, then please click on the on-screen link now. Anything will help. Thank you so much.